Good day, good day, good day, everybody. I welcome you in the precious name of Jesus Christ here on Encounter Ministries on your page. And um, thank you so much, Pastor Angelo and Pastor Melissa. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your caring hearts. Thank you for what you are doing um, in the body of Christ. You are such a great blessing unto the Lord. And um, I can see the names is popping up. And um, I want to welcome everybody that is part of this with Facebook Live this morning uh, on Encounter Ministries. And um, a special welcome to Pastor Melissa and Janita and Pastor Angel themselves. They are part of this. Well, names are popping up. Gershwin Prince, thank you so much, brother. And I want you to create watch parties. As we continue, make sure people jump in. Let us drive this word. Let us boost this word this morning. And um, I thank you for all the notifications. And there's such a great response because of a great release from the presence of the Lord, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Welcome, Pastor Drikas. Good to have you here this morning. And um, this morning, I'm very excited about the things of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, when the enemy come like a flood, God will raise a standard. Which flood? The flood that will be released from our hearts. Hallelujah. Because we proclaim his death until he comes. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us. And God has anointed us to preach good news, to herald, to proclaim it, to declare it. To preach good news to the poor. Those who are poor in faith. Amen. And so the unbelievers can come and believe and taste and see that God is a good God. And that's the streams and rivers of living waters. Uh, according to Psalms 29, the Bible says, And His voice will rest upon the many waters. This is what you read when you read in Mark chapter 16, when Jesus said to them, Go and preach this gospel. And the Bible says, And they went out after Jesus ascended to heaven. They went out and they preached the gospel unto all the nations. And God worked with them and backed them up with signs, wonders, and miracles and this is what i expect today that this will be a release of signs wonders and miracles because we are backed up by heaven jesus got your back he, um, hebrews 7 verse 22 that he stands surety for your salvation hallelujah he stands surety for your breakthrough he stands surety because jesus made the overpayment for the release of his word. He made the overpayment for his promise. And therefore you remind the Lord of his promises. Do not let him to rest. Isaiah 62 verse 7. Until he will restore your walls. And will make your walls shouts of joy. Hallelujah. A city of praise. This is a promise of God. Why? Because we are co-heirs of Christ. We are seated with the and Hebrews chapter 3 verse 1 says that we need to consider and pay attention because Jesus is the apostle and the high priest of our confession. And this is a powerful, powerful, powerful demonstration and revelation of who we are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And so therefore I want to encourage you this morning and I want to take time and first we were, before we continue we're going to pray and trust the Lord for a supernatural agreement in the Spirit. When the right people gather at the right place for the right purpose, there will be unity. And in this unity, God will command the blessing. You know, unity speaks of agreement. When we agree, two or three agree upon anything, guess what? We need to say what heaven say, says. Amen. And we need to come in agreement with Christ Jesus because He's the high priest of our confession. And right there, there will be a supernatural resonance and you can expect from mighty hands of God and the release of heaven in Jesus' mighty name. Like this soft rain here in Rustenburg, it's raining here by us. And I tell you, that rain is so good for your lawn. I mean, you can put on your sprayers and... You can give him municipality water, but let me tell you, a couple of drops of the water of heaven will let your flowers to blossom. 
your grass will turn to green. It, will lo it looks like paradise. People on farms, I mean, they have tried their best to sustain their farms. But let me tell you, just after a bit of a rain, God is turning a desert into a paradise. You can go and check it out there in, 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 in the Kalahari. And uh, I tell you, this is the power of God, of His presence, of His sweet reign of the Holy Spirit, because His Word is the seed that is compatible to the waters from heaven, the waters from our heart. Therefore, Jesus has said, you believe streams and rivers of living waters will be released from deep within. And we have a power in Jesus Christ to turn the tide, to release an atmosphere of victory, the prophetic atmosphere of God, amen, through His presence. And in His presence, you will get His power. And through His power, you will have a proof that Jesus is alive. That's why even if we break bread, the Bible says, remember me, this is my body that's been broken for you. And also the cup, this is the blood, my blood in the new covenant. It says, proclaim my death until I come. You see, it's in the proclamation, it's in the declaration. And as we declare it, God will establish it because God is a faithful God. Amen. So right there you are at, I want you to become aware of His presence. And let's pray in the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> Thank you, God. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for God. Thank you for what you can do. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you, God, for every brother and every sister that is watching here. By the way of Facebook Live, Lord, and other platforms. Lord, I thank you that this message will reach the many. And Lord, you'll give us enlightenment of eyes. And Lord, give us a prophetic ear and a prophetic tongue. A learned tongue to speak life in season and out of season in the name of Jesus. Therefore, your word says, preach my gospel. Release, herald, proclaim, declare the good news in season and out of season. Because now it's the time where true worshippers, will worship you in spirit and in truth, in their words, from their mouths, from their hearts, and or even to be seen in their actions, God. I give you praise, Lord, for a total transformation in the lives of your saints. And I thank you in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, that you will deepen our walk with you. And we, our lives will never be the same. Thank you for the pruning that has taken place, God. That you are busy to prune our hearts. You set us free from all fear and all unbelief. And I give you praise, O oh God, that we will learn to walk on the waters. We will learn to walk on your command, to walk on your word. And Lord, and we will not walk by sight in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your glory, God. Thank you for people that will be touched and changed. Be changed and be transformed this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you give us enlightenment of eyes. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your presence of God, Lord, that is so tangible in this morning. Holy Spirit, we worship you. We adore you. We adore you, Jesus. We worship you this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, fill our hearts of words of knowledge. Lord, move our hearts of compassion. Your heart were, were, were moved of compassion. You, you healed them all. And likewise, you fill our hearts, Holy Spirit, with your compassion. And Lord, you show us with who we can agree, for who we can pray, where do we need to release life. And I thank you for this love of God will cover a multitude of sin. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, your anointing is yet to do the opposite. You give us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Therefore, I come against any person with depression, the spirit of heaviness. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And I command that spirit of heaviness to live your life right now. In Jesus' name, I pray for the oil of joy to touch your heart, to touch your mind, to touch you from, your, from the top of your head. To the soles of your feet 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus almighty name, I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Receive fresh oil of joy. Love to do good as medicine. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you for supernatural, supernatural stream of your life, your life into our lives, Lord. In Jesus' name. Talking about life stream. This is a true life stream. The stream of loving waters. The stream of Christ life with into our hearts. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. If there's anyone that the Lord has placed in your heart and uh, the Lord is showing you who can we pray for, please write a comment and we will pray together and trust the Lord together. Amen. This is not a one-man show. This is the assembling, the assemble, uh, assembly of the body of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we are here to come in agreement for many people. It's a time for inspiration and intercession. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We worship you. We worship you. Let's pray in the Holy Spirit while we wait upon the Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you anoint us and the blood is cleansing our conscience from dead works so that we can serve a loving God, so that we can be effective for you, so that we can be your hands and your feet in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray this morning and we come in agreement with Allah Shane for Sunnet. And I thank you in the name of Jesus for breakthrough, Father. And my God, you have power to do far abundantly more over that she can ask and think for. I give you praise in the name of Jesus that you reveal your mighty hand. Unto whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Who has believed the report of the Lord? And I declare according to the report of the Lord, she is healed. According to the report of the Lord, she has been sanctified. According to the Lord, a report of the Lord, she has, she has been set apart for your honor and your glory. And I pray, God, you protect her like the apple of your eye. Lord, I thank you that you turn that loneliness, Lord, into fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, you will deepen her walk with you like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you all the praise and all the honor in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. We worship, we worship you. If there's any more prayer requests, please send it now. I'm here to come in agreement with you. Hallelujah. Let it be a resonance in heaven. With resonance, it's first in the natural, then in, then in the spiritual, so that we can understand spiritual things better. Spiritual truths. Hebrews 2 verse 1, the truths that we have heard, lest in any way we drift past them and we slip away. You see, I don't want you to miss out on the privileges of the kingdom. I don't want you to miss out on breakthrough. I don't want you to miss out, but I want you to engage and tap into the supernatural prophetic presence of God that you will have a supernatural breakthrough like never before in Jesus almighty name. Hallelujah. Listen, Jesus is closer than your next breath, man. Call upon the name of the Lord and you will be saved. Hallelujah. Not that only have eternal salvation, but God will save you and help you in the right time because today is the day of salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I worship you. I adore you. I give you praise. In advance, I give you praise for every person we agree. Every person we pray for. The prayer of the righteous makes tremendous power available. And Father, I thank you. We pull down heaven right now in the lives of people. I pull down the glory of heaven within the lives of people. Let the kingdom of heaven come in manifestation within every situation, through every situation. In the name of Jesus, e even if we walk through the shadow, the valley of shadow of death, we will fear no evil. Your rod and your staff will comfort us. Oh, comforter Holy Spirit. 
You are here in this place in Jesus' name. The people, there's a precious anointing touching people right now. There's a precious anointing upon you right now. I release it upon people. Holy Spirit, give strength to the inner man, but give us enlightenment to eyes in Jesus' name. Lord, let us oversee and Lord, you lift us up beyond the storms of life, beyond this crisis and we look from the, out, from the outside into the inside and you give us oversight in the name of Jesus. I give you praise and we will because we see life we will speak life lord we speak the way we see and i thank you we see what you see oh god and i thank you i see victory i see healing i see signs wonders and miracles i see the tremendous faithfulness of god i see a church that is arising up that's rising up like a mighty giant and lord this the sleeping giant is if there's awakening taking place right now in the hearts of your children church like never before and i thank you for this a body of jesus christ will will stand to its feet and will be a mighty army a man of valor in the name of jesus and they will be revealed more than conquerors with a two-edged sword in their hands and high high praises in their mouths and they will imitate your god they will follow you jesus and i give you praise that they will do the things that you did and even greater things because you are our great high priest you are the high priest of our confession and as we say it upon earth you declare it in heaven you declare it in the presence of the father and the presence of your angels and i give you praise that you send forth your angels like mighty wings of messengers and servants of fire to assist us to inherit such great salvation i give you praise in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah come and give god some praise now in jesus name Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Come and let, let us flow in this anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, a fresh fire from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. Oh, faith arise. Faith arise. Faith arise. No more despair. No more fear. But faith in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We adore you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You are a fortress. You are God. In you we will trust. In Jesus' almighty name. We worship you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. We give you praise. We give you praise. I pray for every person that is watching now, God. And as we share it, Lord, this will spread faster than Corona, faster than a virus. I thank you, Father, but because you are greater. But this is so contagious and it's giving a life to those who find your words. And it will be a health to their bodies. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, Holy Spirit, without you, this word is like dry bread. It's style, but with you, it's the bakery of heaven. It's fresh, God. You have prepared a promise. You have prepared a table before us, even in the presence of our enemies. And because this is true, we declare, and as we declare, you establish it, that, Lord, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And our enemies will be like dust underneath our feet. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. We worship you. We adore you, God. In Jesus' almighty name. In Jesus' almighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to you, God. Glory to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, people. Set your mind and your hearts on the, on the things above and keep it set there. It's time to pray now. If you want to miss the mess, pray. Pray without ceasing, the Bible says. Watch and pray lest you fall into temptation. Amen. Hallelujah. This is not the eloquence and the articulation of, of great words or impressive words of man. This is the life-giving spirit of God. Hallelujah. The breath of life that is that is. That is breathing upon us this morning. That is breathing upon your heart this morning. 
And I, give, I pray, let the weak say I'm strong, let the poor say I'm rich. Oh, let every person watching this see what God has done for us. Everything Christ has accomplished for all men of all time. Father, I pray that we'll get this revelation, but we'll have enlightenment of eyes. See what is the hope of your calling, Jesus, and your inheritance in the saints. It's already there. The potential is already there. The release is already there, God. And therefore, I call for awakening unto righteousness, awakening unto true identity, awakening unto the promises of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I stir up their hearts. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, they will not quench the fire. They will not grieve the Holy Spirit, but they will stir up the gifts. They will stir up the gifts that is within them by the laying on of hands. I give you praise for, for a times of refreshment. In the presence of the Lord, in Jesus' almighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, God. We worship you. Psalms 149. Psalms 1 through 9. Praise to God for his salvation and judgment. Hallelujah. Psalms 149. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Hallelujah. That is the work of the Holy Ghost. He will put a new song on your lips the bible says and again the songs 103 verse 5 again i will satisfy your mouth with good things again you know why because he's the healer of broken hearts he will cancel all disappointments and he will reappoint and redirect your footsteps hallelujah even if you have failed you have fell forward hallelujah because he will put a new song in your mouth. He says, I will satisfy your mouth of good things again. Hallelujah. And I will make your flesh like those of young eagles. What you release from the fountain of your heart, through the utterances of your words, I tell you, it will have an impact on your whole body. It will be life to those who find them and healing to all of their flesh. In Jesus' name. It says, I will sing a new song and his praise in the assembly of the saints. This is the assembly of the saints where two or three gather and agree upon anything. It will be done by our Father who is in heaven. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Oh, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name Well, the dance. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, it's good to act out. And to dance before God. Hallelujah. It's good. It's good for you. Hallelujah. That's a release of faith. It's a prophetic uh, manifestation. A prophetic action. In Jesus name. Let them sing praises to him. With a tremble and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. Why? Because he inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. Your praise will become the habitation of him. And that's how you dwell in the, in the shadow of Almighty. You can read the rest. It is a declaration of praise. If you magnify the Lord, listen, we cannot make God bigger because He's already Almighty. You cannot make Him bigger, but you can get a bigger revelation of who He is and what He can do in your situation. So the more you magnify and praise Him in circumstances, not because of four circumstances, but in circumstances, your praise will turn into prophetic declaration. And guess what? As you declare it upon earth, Jesus will declare it in heaven. And his angels is hearkening to the voice of his word and will be sent out to execute his righteousness. Hallelujah. So he takes pleasure in his people. <coughs> he will beautify the humble with salvation. Hallelujah. Your makeup will be salvation. You will be covered with salvation. If you know how to hide and camouflage yourself with His presence, no devil, no disease will find you. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their beds. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 5.13 declares, If I'm by myself, that's for the sake of people. But when I am besides myself, hallelujah, beside myself, that is for his name's sake, hallelujah. Doesn't he lead you in, 
in, in path of righteousness for his name's sake. It's not for our name's sake, it's for his name's sake. So let go of your ambitions, but come to God with a sincere heart, a clear conscience, and a sincere faith. A pure heart, a clear conscience, and a sincere faith. A pure heart, a clear conscience, and a sincere faith. And I tell you, joy will flood your heart in the name of Jesus. Jesus, He says, let them sing aloud on their beds. Why? Because in Psalm 63, I think verse 7 declares, As I meditate you in my night watches, even on my bed, you flood my bones, my bones with your anointing. There's a fresh anointing upon you as you meditate. And guess what? When you meditate and you delight yourself in the Lord, He will flood your heart with the desires of the Lord. Amen? The Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Which desires? You will download right now when you, when you are meditating on your bed in the goodness and the splendor and the glory of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will flood your heart with His revelation, with His word, with His plan. With his strategy, with his wisdom, with his peace. Amen. And now there's a response. Out of the fullness of heart, your mouth will speak. So they, therefore he says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. And the two-edged sword in their hand. Hallelujah. But the one thing that is happening when you praise God, you meditate on the goodness of Jesus while you set your mind on the things above and keep it said there, God will flood your heart with such a revelation of what God is saying now. Because you will not live from every uh, from, from bread alone, but from every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. And that's the rhema, the two-edged sword in your hand. He says, with the high, high praises in your mouth. In other words, it becomes prophetic praise, prophetic declaration. And as you declare it, God will establish it. How will God establish it? Because He's releasing the double-edged sword within your hands. Hallelujah. That's a place of agreement between heaven and earth. Between the place where you are at and the throne room of grace. In Jesus' mighty name. And there's a resonance. And in that unity, God commands the blessing. In Jesus' mighty name. So there's a two-edged sword in your hands to execute vengeance on the nations. Amen. To let this righteousness that is within us break out before us. And punishment on the peoples. What? The, 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 the disobedience. The Bible says we punish disobedience if our, be, our obedience came to fulfill, fulfillment. Amen. Or to perfection. When our be obedience in by doing the word of God and meditating the word of God and releasing the word of God come to it, comes to perfection, there will be a release of punishment on the disobedience of people. To bind their kings with chains. In other words, the God of His world that tried to bind blind the eyes that they cannot see, we bind and whatsoever we bind upon earth has been bound in heaven and it will be bound on earth will be bound on earth because we have a revelation. It's already unlawful, illegal in heaven. Therefore, we throw change over the works of the enemy. And we seize the works in the name of Jesus. And right now, we seize the works of the enemy through the through, through, through coronavirus. We throw change over it and declare it in the name of Jesus. Therefore, the Bible says in James 4 verse 7, First submit to God, then resist the enemy, then he shall flee from you. So as to bind the kings of chains, the strong men, the strongholds within the, within the lives of people, we execute justice, we, we act out righteousness, and we throw chains because we know we, who we are in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the nobles were fetters of iron to execute on them the written judgment, the word of God, the sword of the Spirit to say, Thus say the Lord, who are you, great mountain? Who, will you, who are you that will stand before Zerubbabel? It's not by mind nor by power, but for it's written. It's by the Spirit of a loving God. In the name of Jesus. And to execute this judgment and this honor have all the saints. So, and when he says, praise the Lord. This honor have all the saints. This honor. You see, it's, it's, it's a privilege and it's an honor. 
Hallelujah. It's an honor. Therefore, Isaiah 54 verse 7 declares, No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against you in judgment, you will condemn. Not your pastor, you will. Because this to do so, it's your honor. It is part of your inheritance in Christ Jesus. Because your righteousness is out of me, says the Lord. I want you to get this revelation. This is powerful. Why will no weapon formed against you prosper? Because every time that rises against you in judgment, you will condemn. Because this is the inheritance of the saints to do so. Amen. This will be the inheritance of the saints because your righteousness is out of Jesus. Hallelujah. Which means you are so in oneness with Him and in unity with Him. What you say, He say, and what He say, you say. And it's one voice and many echoes. And therefore His voice rests upon the many waters. That's why He's saying, This honor hath all the saints so praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. People, this is such actually a deep revelation. Um, we've been busy with this. I'm sharing now for 10 minutes, but I, I don't want to say anything anymore. Because the pieces of this golden nuggets can save your soul, restore your body, restore your life, and prepare your future, a hopeful outcome. Like never before. If you can only grasp this in this time. I tell you this word got enough capacity. It's more than atomic energy. This is the DNA of God. Be released in your life right now. If you can take this word. Only this last 10 minutes that I've shared. This will sustain your entire life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You will be more powerful than an atomic power plant. Amen. This is Duna, the release of Dunamis power. The DNA within Dunamis power. The indwelling power. And you know what Dunamis? The indwelling power. It can release its charge without losing its original capacity. Or capability. It can release the fullness of a charge. The fullness of its energy at once. Without to, re, to lose the original charge or capacity. That's dunamis and this is dunamis power. Amen. Hallelujah. You will receive power in the Holy Spirit come upon you. And you will be his witness. From Judea, Samaria to the ends of this world. I would really love to pray for you now. And um, there's an invitation. If there's prayer requests, you can give it to me. And I'll you in any way we will go through this prayer list and pray and bring every name before the name of Jesus and I'm asking also Pastor Yanita to, to send me all these names and I want to put it put each and every one of you on our intercession list but it's very important to share this this is 30, 36 people I'm looking 36 people I'm looking for 36 shares on social media today because whatsoever we receive we release it in the name of Jesus let me pray for you Father God I thank you I pray over encounter ministries I speak over them in this season and time they will be prosperous they will be the salt of this earth Lord that will stir up a first for your presence that will uh, that will add Lord flavor to the lives of people and bring prophetic fulfillment I pray over, over encounter ministries that they will be the head and not the tail. That surely your goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of your life. I thank you, Lord, that if you are in this, and I declare you are in this, and I declare that it is forever. No one can add anything to it and no one can remove anything from it. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, let the glory of Jesus Christ arise within their lives in Jesus' mighty name. I declare, Father, especially over Pastor Angela and Pastor Melissa and their family, blessing upon blessing, favor upon favor, grace upon grace, mercy upon mercy, in Jesus' almighty name. I declare 
that your presence will be a sign of your name over their lives. Lord, you have branded them with your name. Your name is the logo over their lives. And they will not be seen, but, they, but the glory of God will, be, will, will, will be, be manifested upon their lives and through their lives. And Lord, I see in the Spirit how people will be astonished what you are about to do through that ministry in the Cape province in the next six months. I thank you for supernatural influence and leadership and wisdom from the Holy Spirit like never before i speak over disciples and i speak over you be fruitful multiply fill this over the knowledge of jesus christ and his glory in the face of our father subdue and bring in line and do not do not do not, do not uh, take things the, the way it might be right now but expect it the way god wants it to be in jesus mighty name breathe in life and have dominion take in your place and stand your ground in jesus and let God expand your territories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. I really want to thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, my God. Bless you. And remember, His vision loves you. And you are part of us, His vision family. We love you. We love you guys. And we continue to pray for you. See you again. God bless. Bye-bye.